If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Good morning, Newcastle, and welcome to Sunday, yes, uh, March 10th, and uh, this is a combination for you of the morning show and news watch, some th things we wanted to update to you and give you an idea of what's going on. First of all, currently 51 degrees in Newcastle, under what I would call partly cloudy skies and uh, things are going to look uh, pretty decent today. Now uh, National Weather Service seems uh, kind of surprised. They're already uh, registering 52 so we went up a degree just since we went on there and uh, they said a high near 50 with a 60 percent chance of rain However, uh, when you, I'm looking at the local radar, and there are some spots out there, but nothing immediately to our west, northwest, everything well off to our east. So uh, I think you're going to see quite a bit of sunshine today, according to the different units that we use. And uh, tonight look for mostly cloudy uh, skies overnight low not too bad 28 but it's going to feel really nice and balmy today um, if you're wondering about Newcastle basketball they have not announced the site yet the Canes will be taking on Grove City at a site and time to be determined um, they and as soon as that comes available, we'll put it on. Tickets will go on sale probably for season ticket holders. I would imagine tomorrow since the game is on Tuesday. So um, be looking for the times and dates, and we'll keep you posted. Now, some things uh, that you should know. Uh, first of all, we had Saturday Night Mass on last night. It is going to be on again today. We're going to rebroadcast it. We'll send out our programming day very shortly to everybody involved uh, on our list. It's easy to get, get, get on our list. All you have to do is go to nctv45 at gmail.com. Email us. Tell, tell us you'd like to be on our list. Or just subscribe to us, and when you have the X1 box with Comcast, bang, you're good to go. And um, as we go through, I want to say special shout-out birthdays to Steve Reeder, Aaron Lisa, Giorgio Foltz, Vicki Johnson, Samantha Wells, Blundo, uh, Mike Waters, George, and Akuntz, K-U-E-N-T-Z. Georgie, I apologize. Vicki uh, Rosetti Johnson, 
Ray Beth Dean James, Stephanie Reisker, Linda Frazier, Rick Flynn, Allison Christopher, Jim Carvel Carvelli, and uh, Georgie Robbins. So uh, get that second piece of birthday cake. Also, a happy birthday to my mother-in-law, Betty Alisco. Uh, and uh, I look forward to spending the day with her. And as we go through, Doug Salmon Jr., thanks for the kind comments and sharing. Dave Stoner, I always get to the mailbag because there's a lot of people here that watch NCTV45 and send out everything. Um, Henry Frenzel, thanks for those kind comments. And um, I want to just get through to a few more. Nettie Bailey, uh, Mary LaDuc Turner, Kathy Lynn. <laughs>